All right, guys, in this video, we are going to set up the Arduino with uh, some firmware called Gerbil. What do you want to call it? GRBL. So that way we can run our Route 2 CNC machine that is just about done. So obviously we need to uh, have something to get it moving with. We're going to need the shield. So we're going to install the shield in that. And in my kit, it comes with four of these beefy TI DRV8825 stepper driver uh, standoffs here. So that should be pretty good. That should be more than enough to uh, run the NEMA 17 stepper motors. But before we do all that, we need to go ahead and get some firmware into this. So um, the link is going to be in the description, but you can see it's up here. It's github.com slash gerbil slash gerbil. And this is pretty much what it looks like in the gerbil version 1.1. This is the latest version that we're going to put onto this board so we're going to click here we're going to go down and you can see they've got the hex file uh, i shared this in a, another video where it's an already compiled file so you have to use um xloader to uh compile the well it's already compiled to put the hex file onto the board but we don't want to do that we just want to uh download the source code so we're going to download that done downloading we go into our download folder and we're going to go ahead and just uh, leave it right here we're going to extract all the folders what we're going to do is we're going to put the gerbil into the library of the Arduino I've already done this but I'm going to show you how it's done so now it's in the downloads folder and if we double click on it you can see this little file here gerbil this right here we want to put this in the library of our uh, Arduino IDE so let's go ahead and close this out. Minimize that. Too much stuff. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to put um, something, add something to the library in the Arduino IDE. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to open it up. Um, it's up to you whether or not you wanna have the latest version. Um, it's always good to have the latest version, but uh, don't stress on that too much. But you can just go to Arduino.com or whatever it is and download the latest version. Don't worry about any of this. That's an upcoming video. All right, so when you want to add something to your library, include library, add zip library. We already unzipped it, but say you want to add something to your library, you go to wherever that um, item is that you want to add. In our case, it's downloads. It's already unzipped. Double click that. Then you would click on Gerbil and then click open. And you can see I've already done it, it already exists, but that's how you add something to the library. It's so super simple. You just unzip it wherever it's at, add library. Yep, go to wherever it's at and then it's right here. Examples, and it's going to be right here, and it's going to be uh, Gerbil Upload. I think both of these do the same thing. I'm not sure, but Gerbil Upload. So once we have it in there, connect your Arduino. And this is yellow, but it's the same thing. It's the same, you know, it's got the um, AppMega 328P on it. So nothing's, nothing's different there. And this is what it's going to look like when you click upload. Let's close that one out. Let's go full screen on this. This is what it looks like. It says include gerbil.h. What it's doing is it's including that entire file. Um, and obviously it says don't alter this file right here. So don't do any of that. Then click upload. All right, now that that's finally done opening, now we can go over to the uh, workbench and see if we can't get some stepper motors moving. All right, now that we're over here on the uh, workbench, we can go ahead and move some stuff out of the way. And get it all set up now over here 
Now that we've got the firmware, we've got Gerbil on our board, we can go ahead and install our shield. Make sure it lines up, push it down. Now you can see here, I've got two different types. Uh, these right here, these are the um, A4988 stepper drivers. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Yeah, A4988. This is what normally comes on like uh, uh, the rope wraps, 3D printer machines, the ramps. These really won't cut it for uh, CNC machining. That's why we have the beefier um, Texas Instruments ones here that I mentioned earlier. And it's very important to make sure that whether it's the red ones or the purple ones or whatever you want to call it, that they go in the right direction. If you put them backwards, which is very easy to do, it will actually uh, short out the voltage regular model on your Arduino. Um, it'll do it on this type of board and it'll also do it on this one as well. So one thing to pay attention to is if you look carefully uh, on most of these boards, it'll have something indicating where to put it. In my case it says EN, that's in enable. If you look on the bottom, you have an EN right there. That's enable. And if you look on the A4988, it says enable right there. So make sure that lines up correctly. If not, you'll run into a problem. So we'll just install our stepper drivers. And we'll go ahead and install this one just because. Even though we're just going to use X, Y, and Z. And one thing I want to point out too is on the A4988, it would actually go like this. And you can see the pots here to adjust the voltage. On these boards, it's facing this way. On the A4988, the pots are over here, so it's very, very easy to get confused because you'd want to install it like that if you saw a picture and it wasn't the same thing. But if you let me pull one off here, and see, like that. But if you flip them over, all the pins are the same. but the uh, pots are at opposite directions. So you definitely wanna pay attention to that. All right, next we're gonna get it connected and we're gonna plug in our stepper motors and we're gonna apply power to it and see if we can't move some stepper motors. The power supply I'm using is just a regular uh, 12 volt. 10 amp, that's what I'm going to be using um, to actually run this with. So, our positive wire. And make sure this is unplugged while you're doing this as well. You don't want to have it plugged in. Our negative wire. Take our negative wire. Okay, so we've got our negative wire hooked up. And our positive.
There you go, just a little tug, make sure they're not coming out. Plug up our USB cable. And let's plug up our stepper motors. So we've got a power, our USB cable, and our three stepper motors hooked up. Just like that. And we're gonna plug it in. All right, so our 12 volt power supply is now hooked up. We've got our wires hooked up. Nothing appears to be getting hot. So always check. Because if you got a short, that'll be a problem. Okay, I hope you can see that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our universal G-code sender. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is the, um, hopefully I'll have a link in the description where I got this, I'm pretty sure I will. But uh, it's pretty much, it's very simple. This is March 12, 2017. Um, so this is the very, very latest uh, version and it's actually a nightly build. It's not, but it seems to be pretty stable. So we've got COM4 and the newer Gerbil, I didn't mention this earlier, but the old versions of Gerbil used to be uh, 9600. Now it's 115,200 baud rate. So click open. And I can actually hear something actually go. Good. And if we click Y negative, we can see we've got our Y spinning. Or did I see Y or X? All right, this is X plus. Let's see, Y plus. Y negative and our Z plus. And our Z negative. Cool, and that seemed to work a treat. Just putting the firmware onto uh, the board isn't just gonna cut it because you can see right here, uh, dollar sign 100, dollar sign 101, dollar sign 102. These right here are actually the travel um, steps. And we'll get into a, another video about this, especially when we go to set up um, the CNC machine, we're gonna have to set this up. But it defaults to 250 steps. Um, so you would want to go in here and actually change those steps for whether or not you're using a pulley, a belt, a chain, a lead screw. So uh, we'll definitely get into the software side of things, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this up and going because this is going to be the heart and soul of my CNC build. So if you like this video and like it, if you dislike, you know what to do, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.